I guess I can go through here. Okay. What are you saying? Speak English. Where are we? What is this? Is this one? Is there a What pagey? store are you in? All right, fine, whatever. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Spalatins. We're in the Ivory Towers somewhere. I don't know. From right there, see? Yeah, what store are you in? I'm in the soup store. Why are you playing ukulele in the soup store? Because they have great Wi-Fi in here. I'm, I, Zinker, <laughs> there's a manager yelling at you to get out. Yeah, but he's not the soup store you're manager. At a re you're, you plug the, you're, you're playing at a register. You're playing on a register. I they just happen that. to be a big fan of registers. They make they, me feel They hot. need that to cash people out. They don't need anything. Ever. What am I supposed to fucking do here? I don't know. I genuinely have no idea what this is or where I'm supposed to go. Shut up, Mr. B guy. I don't remember your name. But I'm not in the mood for your shit. Wait, am I recording? Zinker, you're gonna have to cut that out. But I was indeed recording, so. Uh, I'll Good. be here with us. Alright, so, um. Is this fine? I don't know. Wait, what? I said, I don't think you heard what I said. You didn't say anything. I did when you said what when you asked what his name was. Who? Mr. B guy? Yeah, I said Beezus. Alright, and this has been Spellsons, everyone. <laughs> I'm so glad if you guys joined us for these past whatever many years. But this is the end. This is where it all. This is the last episode ever. There's no longer going to be any more episodes. Oh, thank God. I can finally get back to doing schoolwork and stop failing everything. Derek, you always have the choice to do that. Yeah, but... You never choose it. I have, the temp I have the temptation to not. You will always have the temptation to not. You yeah, would be but... doing it. Oh, God. I'm dying. Zinko, you're a succubus. Succubuses are hot. And they suck pretty good okay. dick. <laughs> so, listen up, ladies. I mean, if except, you... <laughs> when they, except when you hire one to come to your house and it gets trapped in a certain uh, evil magic circle or whatever. Konosuba. I, I, what is that? I've never heard of Konosuba in my entire life. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now what we've done absolutely nothing in that area over there. It's time to... Oh, I, I still don't know what we're, where we're going. We're just trying to get the last pages. I just want to finish this game. Uh, this is another game where it's like, I feel like I'm pretty... I'm you know, do you think prostitution would be illegal if, Succub if Succubi were existed? I guess I, probably. Probably, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if Succubi existing really makes any difference. Well, because, like, it, it's like, it's like very beneficial Didn't we have a discussion about whether prostitution should be illegal or not? Probably, I, I, at we some did. point. I think. Yeah, we did that in Prey. Remember Prey? We never made it to the good part because I just died too much. I, I don't remember <laughs> what Prey was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I The cool thing about that game is you can transform into a cup, but never figured out oh, how to do I that. Oh, now I wish I knew what Prey was. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe, oh, I remember what that was now. I yeah. Think. Maybe someday we'll go back to it. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. What do you think we should do, Pagey? Nothing? Alright. Well, there's some book right there. If only there was some way to knock it down. Oh, there's a bunch of books right there. If only there was some way to knock it down. Alright, let me just start flying. Is there a way to knock it down? I don't know. Oh. Maybe. What if I go right here and do the rolly move? You think that'll do it? What's the rolly move? Is this? Ah! Oh, that worked! Huh. That was how you do it. Oh, they're the domino edition of books. I get oh. it. <laughs> Alright. At least we got a pagey this episode. This episode wasn't worthless. I... <laughs> yeah, that was what I, I was guess... worried about. <laughs> that, those, that's a rare occasion. The... Oh, what did he say? Did not have a useless episode. What did he say? Re read it to me. When Something about chocolate. No, that's not what he said. Uh, the bee guy. What's his how name? How would you like it if I came to your work and started knocking things down? No. Oh, no he's a... he's upset because you're knocking his stuff down. Yeah, I, you know, he deserved it. So. Really? He's a bee. 
We've been over the horrible things bees have done. Oh, wait, no, we haven't. We haven't watched that episode. Uh, well, I, yeah. Anyhow. Uh, oh, here's the casino level. This is what I was looking for, I think. This is probably what I was looking for, I think. Awesome. We can go... We, we need to expand this weld or whatever. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, okay. There we go. You'll need 11 of us pages. Yes, please expand the world. Yay. Bigger casino world. The world that I was, I think I was disappointed in the last time we played. Anyhow, Derek, glasses have started for you. How's it been for you? Um. Hmm. Great, let's talk about me. Alright, so. All right. <laughs> um, what is it? I have a. I think I mentioned in another thing that I ha I'm taking a 3D modeling. And then I'm taking the pre-reg, mm -hmm. pre-reg, the requirement class for that mm -hmm. class. Because I guess the credit didn't transfer over or something immediately right after 3D modeling. Like, I go into the intro class right after it. Um, yeah. So we're taking intro to computer graphics, which is going to reteach me everything I forgot about Photoshop. Which is okay. also how I'm going to make a lot of new backgrounds to the show. But that's not really important. Um, sure. But anyhow, so I'm in, I'm in this class. And uh, he actually, uh, he's talking to us about, like, advertisements and shit. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, welcome to the wonderful Expanded Capital Casino. Please enjoy our fraudulent or um, fantastic new games. I'm sure when you Great. said that that's how you're going to make those backgrounds, you meant that you're going to use the knowledge you get from there and apply it to Photoshop on your own computer. I don't have Photoshop make on backgrounds. my own computer. You're going to use a different program, graphic design program, but not use the school's equipment, because that would be an infringement on copyright. Would it? Yeah. Uh, oh, fun well, fact, yes, you're right. Fun, cop fun copyright fact. Uh, if you use a, a uh, like, place of business's uh, equipment or whatever, so, like, if I were to use, or, so, like, if you use, if you, like, worked in a place that had Photoshop and you were to use Photoshop, uh, for something and monetize whatever you use Photoshop for, or use or whatever you use Photoshop for gets monetized. Uh, part of the or the rights or I well the uh, I don't know exactly how or who or how the rights are are, are I don't want to say divvied up because I don't think that's the right word, but like who exact or how exactly the rights work. But the uh, place that of work that you use to make the play make the thing uh, has. Um, I guess like copyright rights to it because you use their their equipment for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, no, it wouldn't be. It would. It definitely wouldn't be their backgrounds. Yeah. <laughs> it actually really wouldn't. So that's kind of yeah. convenient. But. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, um, that's always a concern. That that is something that I remember learning about this in uh, my graphics design class in uh, high been school here last time. Might have been. Uh, which I think, and I think it. It's kind of, I understand why it exists, but also it's kind of annoying because like, uh, it 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 does it, it that works outside of businesses too, um, so like, it's sorry, uh, I'm reading the rules of casino golf. Rule one: tee off of a forceful swing. Reptile rush move is recommended. Rule two: transport the ball to the hole before the timer runs out. Oh, this is just space golf, but not as interesting. All right. Fine. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I don't have much else to add. It's just, it's a weird copyright uh, rule. But yeah, that's a, that is, I, I didn't do it any justice explaining it, but that is a thing with copyright. Right? Yes. I mean, it's okay, because I won't be using those backgrounds that I made uh, at the school, and I will be making new backgrounds using the knowledge I've gained. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's just how I'll have to be, um, which is That's fine. a lot of strokes. There, there's no stroke limit. I just have to make it to the damn hole. Okay, that doesn't Derek? change my statement. Derek, shut up. All right. Anyhow, so we were talking about uh, commercials <laughs> in this uh, intro to the computer graphics class. And I don't know if you heard of the famous Coke commercial called Hey Kid Catch. Um, yeah, I think I, I've oh. referenced that loads of times. That's Mean Joe Green. That's I've referenced it. I've referenced it. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it. <laughs> Well, anyhow, I learned about it in this class. Hey, kid, I... catch. Because <laughs> the teacher wow, made a very... Wow, thanks, Mean Joe. <laughs> um, 
What do I get? Do I? I just I'm glad get that's five? where you learned about it. Yeah. And oh yeah. No. Well, he made a, a reference to him. Like, whoa. What's that a reference to? That was a yeah. clear and obvious reference to something. He's like, has anyone ever seen that Coke commercial? Hey, kid, catch. It's a classic. Mm. And where everyone in the class is confused. Uh, so yeah, it's this com class. Coke commercial where uh, wow, it starts this. This start. <laughs> It starts with this uh, football. <laughs> to be fair, it was like from 1979. It starts. It's a very up... popular commercial. It won best commercial like for very. It was the it won best commercial for a number of years in a row. Yeah, he was using it to explain how people make buying decisions on emotion or whatever. Uh, hmm. And that that was emotion, which is why they use it in advertisement or whatever. Again. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, so I'm like, so uh, we look up this commercial. I don't get to hear of audio, but all right. So there enough. It's uh, it stars this football player. I guess his name is Mean Joe Green. Um, yeah. And nice then, guy. <laughs> and then uh, a kid shares him his coke. He's like, hey, you want some of my coke? And the teacher really did like a great job of exploiting this, by the way. Uh, yeah. Like it's absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah. Oh shit. And then, like the kid like goes to walk away, and me and Joe turns to him and he's like, "Hey kid, catch!" And he tosses him his, his like jersey or whatever, yeah. or like his towel, I think maybe I don't remember which it was. And he's like, "Wow, thanks, me and Joe." Yeah, imagine that, but it was said like far better in a more emotional well, state yeah. by the professor. Not even like not even like try and insult Derek. Like I genuinely mean that. He gave such a, a description of it. it I was like, like tr it was more moving than the actual commercial, to be honest. He put on a one man show. He kind of did. He's been rehearsing this for years, waiting for the waiting for the class to come in that hasn't seen this uh, commercial ever to give him his chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this anyhow. This was a shot at the big time. Yeah, it was the shot at the big time. So, I think... Oh, there we go. Finally got him. All right. Um, But, uh, so, now, uh, as it turns out, there's a sequel to that Coke commercial. Uh, yeah, it wasn't that great. It, 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 well... It wasn't it as great, it. if I recall. It wasn't that... I, well, what it is, is it, uh, it's for Coke Zero. They remade yeah. the commercial, which I do think is hilarious that they remade the commercial. Um, yeah. It stars, it's like, some guy named Troy. I think it's the exact same kid, though, because he looks exactly the same. Um, <laughs> except older. Yeah. Um, and, and, but the plot, what happens is when the kid offers him his Coke, like, I don't know, I guess the coach comes and just steals it. I'm, and I'm like, oh my God, there's a sequel to this. And he's like, really? I was like, oh God, they just stole the Coke from him. Oh no, yeah. people are tackling each other for the Coke now. Yeah. I don't, I don't remember. I remember it not be, I, not being as well received. If I recall, I had I it's but I, I feel well, like I've seen it before. I just don't remember it. It's not as memorable. Probably because, as he was but, saying, like people make uh, stuff on emotion. As he described, he yeah. described that uh, entire commercial as being extraordinarily heartwarming. It's he, mm -hmm. he replaces it with funny. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know what'd be stronger, funny or heartwarming. It's why it was the such a. It's why it's such a famous commercial is because it it just did. It, it was just wholesome. Super, yeah, it was just super wholesome. It like, was just wholesome. That I love that commercial because it's wholesome and it's like here's this Coke. Uh, it's for drinking. Yeah, uh, it's Doesn't, really. It's it. It has like a little extra like. Out of order. Plot to the commercial, I guess, but I hate commercial. Er, um. It it does the advertising well. It's memorable. Yeah. Which uh, is what a commercial should be. Yeah, uh, you've said that. Because you before. you remember specifically that he offers him that you he offers him a Coke. Whereas like there's loads of commercials where you you remember the commercial for the commercial and not the product. Um, which is, is uh Yeah. Which is why I think certain uh, certain companies aren't great with their advertising because while I remember the commercial, well, I half the time I don't remember what the product is or I don't care about the according product. According to him, it's all about the emotion that it uh makes buying decisions because it'll help you yeah. remember the product and funny a, commercials are he, he actually yeah funny or entertaining um but yeah. at the same time i don't think they're as they they don't do the job of making you want to buy their product as much i don't think because it's not as you remember the commercial but you don't remember the product as much uh, yeah I, I don't think it I'm, doesn't stick out i don't think uh uh you know funny commercials are as powerful as uh you know a it's like doritos one. commercials that, uh, like Super Bowl Dor or D Doritos commercials for well, the Super Bowl. Well, I don't Bowl. know, cause I remember Super Monkey Baby from Mountain Dew. Yeah. And I, it's an awful commercial too, so I don't even want to remember it. 
So I don't know. It, so Doritos, Doritos, I remember specifically for their commercials because like Doritos is or uh, I remember. Do I go for shit? I remember them because I remember that Doritos does over the top commercials for Doritos. Um, they've initially like when they started doing like their some of their over the top commercials, I didn't like they weren't as memorable. I think for being Doritos commercials or like Doritos didn't stick out as much. But because I've seen freeze? them so much, that did it did just freeze. Okay, but. Keep but because going, I've seen, I guess. because I've I've seen them so much, uh, like when I see those over the top Doritos commercials, they stick out. Um, a good commercial, Why I think, for uh, a commercial that doesn't advertise the product at all, um, which I don't, I can't even remember what the product is. Have you ever seen the Puggy Monkey Baby commercial? Puggy, that's the Mountain Dew. Is that the Mountain Dew one you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. No, what are you talking about? That's the. Uh... It was a pug. Mount, it was a yeah, pug monkey puppy baby. Monkey, What'd you say? It's puppy monkey baby. It was pug. I thought it said pug. pug no, was... maybe that's why you don't remember it. <laughs> that might. In fact, I'm 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 pretty certain that might be something why you don't remember it. Uh, it is Mountain Dew. Yeah, you're correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I didn't remember it was Mountain Dew because you know why? Because I remember fucking pug puppy monkey baby. I literally whatever. never have forgotten that it's been Mountain Dew. So I. I never knew it was Mountain Dew because all I saw was the stupid pug monkey baby thing. It's weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a little weird. Um, but uh, one of the ones that he brought up that was uh, interesting. I don't know what I'm supposed to do for these. Why can I push this block up with my head? I that I have. That's my first. I ask question. myself that every day. Why doesn't Why doesn't the roll move work here? Like, I go up to a I go up to a uh, square shaped rock. That is uh, a cube-shaped rock that is uh, twice my size, um, and uh, well, twice like my height. Um, and think to myself, why can't I move that with my head? Literally every day. Awesome. Stupid rock. I Anyhow, so the Subaru head. commercial. Uh, he brought up the Subaru commercial, which he thought was really nice because um, I don't know. Sure. Have you seen the new Subaru commercials? Probably not. We're millennials. We don't see commercials. Um, yeah, we watch stuff online and we and we use ad blocker. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Don't use ad blocker on us though, please. We, yeah. It's, no, actually, it please need really, no blocky. It doesn't really matter at the current moment. Yeah. Not you can now because it doesn't do anything. But 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 well, stop. They might be. Well, they're probably watching from the future. If if yeah. anyone's watching, if someone's this, watching, they're yeah. watching it from the future where we please made stop. it. <laughs> um, uh, or something. Just, Anyhow, yeah, um, just, so the Subaru uh, commercial. It's like it's actually yeah. really good. So it's like um. It's like it, it show like it just has a cut to um to like a car crash to say mm -hmm. and then it said it said it, it says something like accidents happen or some shit um yeah all right and, and then it shows like a uh, kid like graduating from high school fortunately Joey had a Subaru and then that's it and that's like the entire commercial um okay uh the idea implying that Subarus are really safe and that they uh yeah you know keep you that one... there might actually be a little bit more to it I don't remember but yeah. Uh, okay, I don't. I don't think I've seen this. I'm not sure if I have. No, I may have seen it here. over break. I don't remember it though. Um, it sounds partially familiar, but I don't remember. I, I think to, I've like, seen like it. one commercial of it, but uh, it sound it sound it sounded completely familiar, but also like makes no difference. To me. Yeah. But like Good. I I think I do think it's a great commercial. I'm I'm sold on Hyundai only because that's my lane for the. I don't. You say option. Hyundai. Yeah, Hyundai. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, the we had, fuck we, was that? <laughs> you know, we had this exact same conversation before where I explained how it's called Hyundai. I, 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 I talked about how my mom explained. I explained to my mom that's Hyundai because there's a Y there. I stand by that. It's, you know. In this situation, I'm more correct than I ever been before. <laughs> so. I don't. I, I still disagree with it I entirely. I don't care if you disagree. Uh, I'm just telling you what it is. Just telling you how it be, Derek. I'm just telling you how it be. Anyhow, next time on Spelotons. Um. Bye-bye. Alright.